Now let us discuss about bias and negative clippers. So in bias negative clippers, we'll clip the negative peak. So here I will explain with the two circuits. So I'm starting with the first one. So diode D1 is connected from a voltage source here, and we are having a supply voltage that is a signal source. So from in the signal source, we are I'm taking a sinusoidal signal which is represented in a dotted line. So to analyze the circuit, we need to know when the diode is conducting, when the diode is not conducting, when the diode is off, that means reverse bias. So here the condition is, let us take this is diode, so this is positive side, positive side we connected V1, V1 is the voltage. So if the diode has to conduct negative side, that means at Vs, it should be less than V1. So when you consider when Vs is less than V1, what will happen? So V1 is more and Vs, this is less than V1, so less. So diode D1 will conduct. So this will create diode D1 will be in on state. When the diode D1 is in on state, so when it is on, so this voltage will be same as the V1 because it is on, right? Diode is in on condition. So this voltage will be same as the V1. V0 is equal to V1. So this gives V0 is equal to V1 is the condition. Now let us take other way. So here when Vs is greater than, when Vs is greater than V1, so Vs, this v, Vs is greater than V1, so V1 here, Vs is more than V1, negative side we are having more voltage, positive side we have less voltage, diode will be in the reverse bias, when the diode is in the reverse bias, this is open circuit, when it is open circuit, so this output voltage is same as Vs, because this is open circuit, no connection here, output voltage is same as the Vs, supply voltage, so here in this, during this point, diode D1 is in off condition, when the diode is in off condition, V0 is equal to Vs, that is what we will get. So here let us represent these conditions on the waveform. So here the input waveform is starting from 0. So here when it is starting from 0, it is less than V1 only. So when it is less than V1, output voltage is equal to V1. So here input waveform is reaching V1, again it is crossing V1, again it is going less than V1, more than V1, less than V1 like this. So here during this period, 0 to V1, input voltage is less than V1. So when input voltage is less than V1, output is equal to V1 only. Now here input voltage is going beyond V1, when input voltage is more than V1, diode is in off condition, output is same as the supply voltage. So here, so when we, it is more than V1, as long as it is more than V1, we will get this voltage same as the V1. Now here again it is going below V1, so when we, Vs is less than V1, output voltage is equal to V1, so for this period, output is equal to V1 only, again it is crossing V1. So when it is more than V1, it will be same as the input voltage. Now here also next cycle. So less than V1, so less than V1 means V0 is equal to Vs. Sorry, here it is less than V1. So Vs is less than V1 means V0 is equal to V1 only. When it is more than Vs is more than V1, so during this period, output is equal to Vs. So this is how we will get the waveform. Now if you observe this output waveform clearly, the negative peak is clipped, so we call it as negative clipper circuit. Now let us see the other version for the circuit. In other version, we are having a diode and I am taking the output across the resistance and the voltage source. Now if you observe this circuit carefully, here also we will see the conditions, when the diode is conducting, when the diode is off. So if you want to see when the diode is conducting, so this voltage is V1 at this point. So here, if you are ha having more than V1, then only diode will conduct. So the curve, one condition is when D2 will conduct, D2 will conduct when you have Vs is more than V1. So when Vs is more than V1, so at this point D2 will be in on condition. When the D2 is in on condition, what will happen? So when the D2 is in on condition, so here whatever the voltage you are getting, this voltage will appear across V0. This APA voltage will appear across V0. So output voltage is equal to Vs you will get. Now let us take other case. When Vs is less than V1, when Vs is less than V1, so here negative side we have V1, but this is less than V1, positive side is less, so diode is in the reverse bias. When the diode is in reverse bias, so this voltage will be same as the V1. So because this is open circuit, we'll have V0 is equal to V1 only. So when the diode D2 in the off condition, the diode D2 is in the off condition clearly. So when Vs is less than V1, diode D2 is in off condition, V0 is equal to V1. So here also same waveform. When Vs is greater than V1, when Vs is greater than V1, 
so it follows the input when v s is less than v 1 output is equal to v 1 only. So, same output waveform you will get. So, both circuits will give same output only, but here the diode we are across diode we are taking the output, but here we are taking uh, in diode in series we are taking the output that is the only difference. So, this is the biased negative clipper circuits.